waves, part three now, combining waves. When two or more waves pass through each other and form a resultant wave, this is called interference. When two waves of the same frequency and the same amplitude interfere, then you get an interference pattern. When a crest of one wave meets a crest of the other wave, they add to give a crest of double the individual amplitude, and this is called constructive interference, as this diagram illustrates. These two waves are identical, and so they interfere constructively. They add up to each other. The resultant amplitude is twice as big as the individual ones. If a crest of one wave meets a trough of another wave, they add to give zero displacement, and this is called destructive interference. So you can see here, when the crest of this wave meets with the trough of this wave, they add up to nothing. A point source of waves will produce a set of circular waves, like this one here. The source is like a little point, that's why it's called a point source. And it produces a whole lot of circular waves. Same with that one. If the waves produced by two point sources are allowed to interfere or to overlap each other, they will produce an interference pattern called two point source interference pattern. So when these two sets of waves interfere, this is what you get. This is the pattern you get. Let's take a closer look at two point source interference pattern like this. As you can see, there are places like along these solid lines here where there is constructive interference and we call them maximum or they are maxima. At other places like these dotted lines here, there is destructive interference and we call them minima. Here is a picture of interference pattern of water waves from two point sources. As you can see, there are lines of constructive interference. There are also lines of destructive interference. Look at this line here. Along this line, there are big crests and big troughs. Along this line here, there's calm water. And a number is assigned to each of these lines. The center one has an order number of zero. And then there's order number of half. One, one and a half. So where there are whole numbers, there is constructive interference. Where there's a half, like half and one and a half, there is destructive interference. More about two-point source interference pattern. Now let's look at path difference. It is how much further one wave has to travel from the source compared to the other. So let's look at point A first. At this point, the distance from source X to the here, the distance is four wavelengths. One, two, three, four. From source Y to A, the distance is three wavelengths. One, two, three. So the difference, the path difference is one wavelength, four minus three. Now let's look at um, point B. From X to B, is four wavelengths from y to b is two and a half so the difference is one and a half so the path difference at b is one and a half wavelengths here it is one and a half wavelengths for b one wavelength for a look at this picture again these lines of constructive interference are called antinodal lines these lines of destructive interference are called nodal lines. And also, their order numbers are based on their path differences. Look at this central line here. And take a point here, say. The path from there to there, from there to there, are the same. So there's no path difference. So order number is zero. Look at this line here. If you take any point here, say, 
the path from there to there, from there to there. The difference between the two is exactly half a wavelength, so the order number is a half. Same thing can be said about these other lines.